Hi, today for math we're going to be talking about measurement using non-standard units. I will explain what non-standard units are in just a minute. First let's talk about what our math standard is today. So for math our standard is um, measurement and data. We will express the length of an object as a whole number of length units by laying multiple copies of a shorter object end-to-end Understand that the length measurement of an object is the number of the same size length units that span it with no gaps or overlaps. And for us that means what we'll be able to do is we will be able to measure the length of objects with non-standard units. And the non-standard units we're going to use today are markers, uh, cubes, and paper clips. And what's really important about using non-standard units is that they're all the same length. We can't measure, measure with just any markers or any cubes. They all have to be the same length. So for example, these markers are exactly the same length. So therefore, it would be accurate to measure with these because all of them are the same length. Same with our cubes and our paper clips. They're all the same length. We couldn't use small paper clips and large paper clips. We would have to use all the same size paper clips. And the cubes are all the same size. So let me model to you how we use our non-standard units to measure a line, and then I will demonstrate how we measure other objects. Okay, so when we use our non-standard objects, like markers, we're going to line them up end to end. That means they won't there will be no gaps and there will be no spaces. They have to touch end to end. So let's go ahead and start with our line. Um, we'll I'll start here at the top, making sure that the top of the marker is right at the top of the line. And then I will add the other markers one at a time, directly behind and touching. No gaps in between. There's no space in between, nothing can go in there. They're exactly touching so we can get an accurate measurement of how long this line is. So we'll continue to add markers one at a time, making sure they're touching, no gaps, no space, okay? So now here, this comes to all the way to the bottom of the line. So let's see how many markers we have. For the, the length of this line is one, two, three, four, five markers long. Okay, so let me demonstrate with our cubes. Okay, I have this line here. We'll demonstrate. Cubes are different. They are the same size. You can see they're the same size, but they stack. So I'm going to go ahead and stack these to measure this line here. Okay, so I'm going to stack them because that way we're going to get a really accurate measurement of how many cubes long this line is. So I'm going to go ahead and stack. Stack. The measure. Oh, looks like I need a couple of more. So get some more here. And I continue to stack until I reach the top of the line. There we go. So now let's see how many cubes long is this line. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes long. So this line is eight cubes long. All right, so now I'll measure this line here using paper clips. And again, really important that they're touching end to end, no spaces, no gaps, just make touching, just barely touching. Okay, so I'll start at the top and I'm going to make sure that's touching the bottom of the paper clip. And again, another, touching the bottom. They're not overlapping. They can't go like this. They have to be touching in order to get an accurate measurement. Okay, so let's see how many paper clips we have. One, two, three, four paper clips. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and measure this paper here. And we're going to use markers for this. So we'll demonstrate how many markers long is this paper. So let's get some markers. I'm going to come right here to the end. I'm going to, again, I'll start at the top and I'll go down. So here's one. It's right at the top. 
it's even with the top of the paper. Okay, I can't have it over here. Okay, can't have it up here. Has to be even with the top of the paper. Okay, so here's one, two, three. So our paper is three markers long. So I'll fill in our number sentence. The paper is three markers long. All right, so let's use our cubes to measure our crayon box. So I'm gonna take my cubes, I'm gonna go ahead and measure. I'm gonna see, hmm, how many cubes do I think I need? I can take them apart or I can measure together how many that I need here. I'm gonna start with a couple because I know it's longer than just that. And again, starting at the bottom, and they're, they're stacked together, so there's no gaps in between, there's no spaces, they're touching. I'm gonna add a couple of more. Okay, not quite there, so I need a couple of more. We'll go ahead and add more, and I'm gonna stack these on top of each other. No gaps, no touching. There we go. So let's see how many cubes we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's fill in our sentence here. The marker box is eight cubes long. So again, all the way at the bottom, all the way to the top, no spaces in between. All right, the last thing we're going to practice measuring today is our book. I have a lovely book here, and we're going to measure with paper clips this time. Okay, so I'm gonna get my paper clips. All right, and I'm gonna measure this book. And I will start at the top. I'm gonna go right to the very top. Even with the book, not taller than the book, not less than the book. So it's even with the book. So there's one paper clip, another paper clip. A little tricky here. Okay, touching, not overlapping, not over to the side, has to be touching right at the bottom. End to end, always end to end. Okay, there's another and another. Oops, that one, that one's overlapping, so that wouldn't be accurate. I have to fix it, pull it down. There we go, end to end. So let's see how many paper clips we have here. We have one, two, three, four, Five paper clips, so this book is five paper clips long. Let me fill in the sentence. The book is five paper clips long. Okay, so remember when you're using non standard measurement that all the objects that you use to measure are exactly the same size. Okay, markers. Um, Cubes, you can use cubes, but they have to be the same size cubes. There's lots of cubes in the classroom, but these are the same size in order to get an accurate measurement. All right, so our object today was to learn to measure with non-standard units. So hopefully we've done that and you can practice in class. Thanks.